A lot of people have problems with writing their resume and they are not doing their best one. This is why in this video I want to do a resume review of software engineer. And here I have for you a real resume of junior developer. And I must say here it can be improved a lot. And realistically not a lot of companies would look on such CV and even ask for the interview. Let's have a look. So here is our CV. On the top we have name and surname, then personal profile section. And here we have some text like the high standard of my work has been appreciated with the overall rate of 66.6% .6 throughout all my modules so far. I am very grateful for my professional training year and I am looking forward of completing my degree this year. Which actually means we are talking here about student, he does not have any production experience at all. After graduating I hope to continue my career in web development and I am planning to relocate to London after graduation, therefore I am looking for opportunities based in that area. After this we have education, here is the course that he taken inside university and some description of it, like completed 11 parts of this course and learned various web technologies including React, Redux, MongoDB, GraphQL, TypeScript. Then he got some experience with Node.js and Express and styling on the frontend and also he used Jest and Cypress. Then he has a section regarding computer science. He is a recipient of some prize for best computing performance of the level 5 module. And additionally he has some relevant experience of creating a website in Ruby on Rails, some practicing of MVC pattern with Ruby on Rails and jQuery, then some programming with C++, Haskell, SQL, PHP, Java and so on. And here is a real work experience. He worked as test automation as a Python developer. So he tested some functionality in different products and was working with Agile, such things like Confluence and Jira, and he developed a project in Python automation and he configured some routing there and so on. And in order to understand if this CV is good or not, you must think about a guy who will review this CV. And we are talking here about technical guy and not about HR. So just imagine you are a tech lead or maybe a senior developer with more than 5 years of experience. And you might look for a junior for your team which can handle some simple tasks. So senior developers have more time for their tasks. Typically it doesn't work like this but it is another story. The main question here, will this guy get any interviews at all with such CV? And realistically I would say no, why is that? Because the whole CV doesn't tell anything about his experience, doesn't show can he code or not, doesn't show what projects he did and what is his skill level. Let's look at it one more time realistically. He finished university, nobody cares about it. He used some technologies during his courses, this is fine, but there are zero links on some repositories to see his code. If he really used React, Redux, MongoDB, GraphQL, TypeScript, where is the code? Why there is no link here? I want to see what he did with it. I gained experience writing backend with Node.js and Express, where is this code? I want also to see a link to GitHub here. Styling on the frontend, then show it to me. There are zero screenshots of what you did. How I can believe that this guy knows anything? Nobody will spend time to making an interview with junior person with such text. Recipient of some prize of best computing performance on the level 5 module. At least here can be a screenshot, some award, maybe a screenshot from university website, at least to validate this point. Relevant experience, again, created a website in Ruby on Rails, where is it? Is it private, then at least show me some code. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just want to let you know that I have a membership here on the channel that you can join to support me. It will give you access to the new videos earlier, emojis and priority replies to your comments. Now let's jump back into the video. So most importantly here I would like to see links, but there is another problem. As you can see here on the top there is zero lines of code regarding the position where he is applying. He is saying I hope to continue my career in web development. But web development is a really broad term. What do you want to do? Is it backend, frontend, do you want to do some DevOps stuff? It is not extremely clear. And he wrote here lots of different technologies, like he wrote some frontend stuff, then some backend stuff, then React Native, 
then some testing stuff and here you can see Ruby on Rails which is backend plus jQuery, here you are getting C++ which is not related to web development at all, Prolog, Haskell, nobody is using that in web development, some PHP scripts, Java and Swing, again where is the code? So if you don't have any experience, you are a junior developer, maybe after your studies and you are showing the CV like this, the chance that you will get an invitation for the interview, not even a job, is really zero. You didn't show anything which is interesting for a company. Let's have a look on a good CV so you can compare and understand how you can improve your CV. Because realistically, this guy is not bad. He has a lot of experience. It might be still during experience, he didn't dig in these technologies really far, but he certainly did that. He just didn't show that. So here is a good CV. It always starts name's name, position name. So it is clear from the start at what position you want to work. Is it a front-end developer? Are you a back-end developer? Java developer? Whatever. Summary. You need to sum up what you are doing in a single line. For example, you have 5 years of working experience, front-end developer with focus on JavaScript and TypeScript. And here you for sure want to say, okay, but I don't have any experience. Then here you must write something which is interesting so people continue to read your CV. At least something like five finished real projects. So after this, location, date of birth and contact data. As you can see here, we didn't have any contact data at all. It doesn't make sense. This is what is important for HRs, for example so they can call you and talk with you about next step. If you forgot your contact data, then you are already screwed. The next one is objective. Realistically, this doesn't make any sense and doesn't bring anything to your CV. As a developer, my objective is to make scalable, easy to maintain applications and services. Nobody is really looking on this line, but a lot of people are writing something like this in their CV. This is why it is optional for you. Now here is working history, and this is what you typically have if you have some experience. So your title, maybe front-end developer, company name, date started, date ended, what exactly you did, you can write several lines of code here, like I created a front-end part of e-commerce shop with technologies like React and Redux. This is why here technologies, it always depends on your NDA, but typically you can write at least technology that you use there. After this, you are writing your skill set. So if we are talking about web development, it might be front-end, back-end, databases, testing, DevOps. And here you are writing several lines, like for building SPA, I typically use Angular or React, I have heavy focus on client business logic, states like Redux, NGRX, and typing with TypeScript. I can also cover code with unit and end-to-end -end testing, which actually means such text shows that you know what you are talking about. So here people must see what you used. And at the end you might write the list of technologies that you used previously and you know. After this you have a section with achievements. If you did something with the coding, except of the work, you might write it here. All your projects that you did yourself, with links to the code obviously, you must write here. If you achieved some places, maybe on hackathons, or you was in some meetups with some presentations, it makes a lot of sense to write it here. After this is going education, because realistically nobody cares what university you finished. And at the end is another information like maybe English level, German level, marriage status. It is more needed for HR. And here now the most popular question that you want to ask. What I must do if I don't have any working experience? And realistically for you, this most important section, working history, is empty. So what you can do about that? And this is exactly what this guy wrote here. He wrote a lot of relevant experience that he had, but he didn't use it as his work in history. So realistically here we must write not work in history, but finished projects. And here you must have multiple finished projects. Like for example, Twitter clone, done with HTML and CSS, and you are writing several lines like maybe I created a full markup of responsive Twitter page just by using CSS and HTML. Now here you have second project, and you are writing that I built a JavaScript game, which makes this and that, and you are writing all technologies that you used for that. Most importantly, every single project here must have a link. If you don't have a link, but you just write some text, it doesn't bring any value. People want to see your code. People want to check your GitHub repository, see your commits, and understand what you did there. And if you are making your GitHub repository, please add at least an image there. 
seeing code is nice, but understanding that this project is working and how it looks like makes a lot of sense. So again, if you don't have enough experience, you just replace your working history with the project. And the order in your CV is important. First of all is a summary. This is your contact information. This is the most important part. Secondly is either working history or projects that you did with links. After this your skill set, this is also important, so people can understand what you can do. Achievements is nice to have, and education and other information is the least important. As you can see here in this bad CV, we have some personal profile and education on the first part. It kind of makes sense because this guy was focused first of all on the education, he is a student, but realistically for the company it doesn't make any sense at all. They want to see his experience and not his education. Because good education doesn't really mean that he can write code, he has lots of experience and he can finish some tasks. Improving your CV is extremely important, but are you really sure that you are learning all technologies which you need to learn for your career? This is why I prepared for you a roadmap of front-end technologies focused on 2024 that you can see in this video.